Welcome to another Dragon Ball Super episode review. This time we're looking at episode 66, uh, entitled uh, The Miraculous uh, Power of the Relentless Warrior. Uh, this is, um, for, if not one of the best, it is the best episode in Dragon Ball Super. I'm, I'm just saying this because it felt like it was too short. It is definitely the most exciting, the most tense, the most suspenseful, the most exciting, the most uh, fan serviced episode in Dragon Ball Super yet. Yeah, it's awesome. It is just awesome. Quick synopsis. Um, so it, it the episode starts with uh, the with the. Uh, Kamehameha struggle with uh, between Goku and the merged uh, Zamas, and Goku gives it his quote unquote full power, and his Kamehameha blasts through uh, the beam, uh, hits Zamas straight on in the face, and you see that it deformed half of his face into his purple gooey stuff, um, and then he goes to punch Zamas, and him, you know makes it. Quick sound and it's really gross it's really gross whenever he gets hit in the face or something because it just makes a, a really off-putting squish sound uh but it doesn't do much to him uh during the kamehameha goku injured his arm somehow uh then Zamas grabs his leg squeezes the crap out of it breaking it turn it into jelly and then Right before Goku loses all his energy, he pulls off a Kaioken and kicks him straight in the head. And <laughs> Samas had a Kaio what moment right before just getting kicked in the head. And and it, it, it's just, it was really quite surprising to see him do the Kaioken, even though he was uh, specifically warned not to do that. Um, even though it was just for a very short part. You know, it was nice to see that again. Uh, so, Goku, Vegeta, retreat. Uh, Zamas uh, is gets struck by lightning justice, something like that, which turns his right arm into purple jelly, and you know, he is starting to lose all control of his sanity. Goku gets the idea for Vegeta and himself to fuse with the earrings, and Supreme uh, Kaioshin uh, gives it to him. He's like, oh yeah, here you go. Uh, of course, Vegeta is hesitant about it, uh, but he'll say, he'll say do it anyway. And then, uh, just out of nowhere, Goku go, looks at Gwas and goes, uh, so, like, him and I were used to be fused together, but we weren't, but we were separated. How come? Uh... And then Gwa says, well, the Protora earrings only uh, work as a permanent fuse between a Kaioshin and uh, or any godlike being. Which is true when you think about it, because we, uh, Goku and Vegeta are the only people we've seen fused with the earrings that were not uh, Kaioshin or, or some sort of deity. So, that's kind of interesting. And so... That's kind of a relief for Vegeta. Says, "Fine, I'll do it, if, but I, I can endure an hour of you." So, they merge. Uh, he pops up and says, you know, "Go, goes all right." Go uh, and this, uh, uh, of course, uh, Zalas is like, "Where are you?" He's like, "You merged. The two of you merged into one, so we merged into one as well." I am. Uh, a cock. Let's see. What, what does he say again? I was like, I have a Vegeta and Kakarato. I have Vegito. And then, just like it in the manga, in the anime, you know, he was for a whole episode in normal form. But in the, uh, just like in the manga, you know, we see him only for a moment in his base form, and then he powers straight up into Super Saiyan Blue. He goes, and this is Vegito Blue. Powers up and pretty fucking awesome. This almost even more confident and full of himself is like kind of almost making fun of Vegito just kind of like you know trying to say I was saying that he's trying to imitate gods and he puts his giant stupid hand up to his face and you know palms or face palms himself and it looks really really goofy you know, uh, you know 
but during his little monologue, he leaves himself wide open. Vegito kicks him square in the head, and have the. It's so nice to have this kind of uh, witty, clever dialogue from uh, Vegito again. He says, "All right, all right, Mister God, come at me." <laughs> it, that that is awesome. That is one of my favorite lines from this episode. Uh, and following that, we have one of the most beautifully uh, seek, uh, choreographed, uh, smooth, animated fight scenes in all of Dragon Ball history. The only time that I think could think of that was up to par with this was all the way back during the Majin Buu arc where Goku and Vegeta were fighting each other. And there's a particular sequence where the animation was so smooth and so well choreographed and so awesome to watch and that's just what it really reminded me of here and uh and awesome you know Veg uh, Zamas looks like he's going to try to stab Vegito with his uh, arms purple sword and uh, Vegito's pretending to be knocked out and bam pulls out his spirit uh sword and just jabs him right through the gut he says you're not the only one that knows this trick and I know that's a lot of people's favorite moves and that was awesome to see that you know payback time for him and uh yeah really funny moment where uh Vegito started making fun of like oh you always got to get the last word in. and Zamas starts crying about how unjust the world is and Vegito's expression is like are you crying it's it, that that is priceless it's, it's and Zama says, yes, and the purification of my tears will help start a new world. And then he turns into, like, some sort of giant, like, almost hulks out, almost. And he becomes bulkier, bigger, uh, presumably stronger. And, yeah, this uh, persuades Vegito to try a lot harder here. And, uh, but, which is pretty easy for him. And able to, he's able to pull off a move that was only really seen in the video games. Uh, which is the final Kamehameha. It starts out with his hands like, like a final flash, pulls him back for a Kamehameha, and he, what you get is an awesome, awesome finishing technique. Does not finish him though, he zooms up, he uses the instantaneous movement to catch up, punch him square, square in the face, and then defuses. That could caught me off surprise. And then uh, Kaioshin goes, that hasn't been an hour yet. Kuma says, oh, they just used up all their energy to sustain the fusion. <laughs> and uh, Zamasa doesn't take, uh, doesn't lose the opportunity to uh, take advantage of that. Punches them both in the head at the same time. Looks like he's about to kill them. And then Trunks comes, oh yeah, I forgot. Trunks comes in with this uh, new acquired kind of spirit sword, kind of, that he got from Maki. Um, and used and it's kind of weird how to explain but he used energy from the hope of the kids to create a sword uh, from this broken blade I'll just go with that and then you know he's fighting he's in his super trunks form and he's fighting and he's able to create a Genki Dama through the hope and energy of all the people left on the earth and it's forming above him um, and then he, instead of launching it, he goes up to absorb it and like transfers it to a sword and is able to stab Zamas and slowly like kind of cut him up in half, go and start at the stomach and all the way to the head. And the last shot you see of him is Zamas uh, split in half. It looks like the purple half is melting away and, and and cut to credits and okay this was one of the most big the biggest bait and switch episodes you know we uh since last episode we expected that uh it was gonna be uh vegeto that would be taken care of the merge of moss and then once we saw he defused like oh that changed these things right up and then uh trunks comes in and I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this episode. The Vegito parts are so fun to watch. You know, I, I personally watched this episode four times. 
you know, just because Vegito is so entertaining to watch, and I love his one-liners, he's so funny, and, uh, he, he's just amazingly arrogant and cocky, but, you know, he's, you know, he is Goku and Vegeta, so he's got the strength and techniques to back up his words, and he's just, I haven't been this happy to see, uh, a character like this since the first time I watched, I saw Vegito, uh, back in the Boo arc, and, you know, but having Trunks come in and actually defeat Zamas and fulfill his uh, promise saying that he will be the one to defeat Zamas and that's his future to t protect, that is the perfect ending uh, for this character and really interested in uh, how they're going to take care of the immortal part. Uh, I love this episode. 10 out of 10. It's, it's easily the best episode in this arc and it's definitely a contender for the best episode in the whole series so far definitely worth checking out all right guys you can uh, subscribe to me here on youtube for the latest dragon ball news and reviews you can follow me in, on twitter at twitter.com slash ssjautobot you can instagram me too ssjautobot and i'll catch you next time <laughs>